I want to, what's up, everybody? Welcome to a special edition of Walking This Way's Impact Wars podcast. This is our Saturday night live edition. This is talking about some male and women interaction. I'm very excited about the, the nice panel that we have tonight that's going to be sharing their views, going to be speaking some facts that really help you when it comes to the dating world. We really, we talk about dating. Um, we're going to get with some guys, hear from the guys, hear from the ladies on what to do, what not to do. I um, believe this is gonna help a lot of men, it's gonna help a lot of women. You know, we hear, we've been hearing the word beta, simp be going around, alpha been going around, and we're really gonna lighten ourselves with that. So I'm very excited to be back with y'all once again here on the podcast. Of course, my name is Furman Jackson Jr. I'm the host of Walking This Way Impact Was Podcast right here in Dallas, Texas. I have my little sister, of course, Miss Harry, the sassy young lady out of Dallas, Texas herself. <laughs> and also I got Mr. Wine Down himself, Wine Down Wednesday, Mr. Casey Jordan out of my hometown of Mobile. And also I got my other fam, um, DJ Madonna from Mobile as well on the panel. And big shout out to my cousin, um, Demetrius. He's going to be tuning in. And also big shout out to uh, David. He's going to be tuning in as well. I'm very excited by tonight's episode. But I'm going to pass it around, of course. And of course, I'm being a gentleman. So I'm going to let the lady introduce herself. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the audience that's watching us right now. Also, if we get started, we are Facebook Live. We are live stream. So I encourage you to like, share, comment. We want to hear from y'all. Remember, there's no holding back. It's uncut. It's uncensored. It is undocerated. We okay. want to hear from y'all. So... I'm going to be a gentleman. Go ahead and let my little sister introduce herself. Go ahead. Hello, guys. My name is P. I am from Dallas, Texas, of course. You got to represent where you're from. Um, I am 23 years old. Um, I currently am working, but also working on uh, starting my own business. And I also do tattoos. So that's what I'm working on right now as well. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm here today because I have a lot, a lot to say about guys. I haven't been through some things, so. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're taking time out to be the schedule. Because like I said, you are a sassy young woman. You do <laughs> not back down from nobody. You stand your ground. And I love that about you. Also, like I said, I got Mr. Wind Down when you see himself. You can check him out. I'm going to let me introduce himself. The R&B singer, whatever you want to call him. Mr. Casey Jordan out of my hometown of Mobile. What's up, brother? How you been doing? Introduce yourself. Man, I can't complain at all, man. As Furman said, man, you call me Mr. Wind Down Wednesday, a.k.a. K. Roddick, a.k.a. The Light Skin Keep Sweat. I'm in the building, two-time published, self-published author of the books, My Thoughts, The Journey to Find Her, and my latest book, Pleasure Principle. Stay tuned for my next book, K. Roddick versus Keith. And I'm just here, man. I'm ready to chop it up, man. I'm ready to, 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 to just get to the, to the as Furman said, the unadulterated opinions that everybody have on these subjects oh yeah most definitely man i got some stuff for the ladies gonna ask as well and also i got my other sister here been knowing her for some years um church together we talk about a lot of different stuff we have a lot of adulterated conversation ourselves but i love her energy i love her passion and i have her madonna welcome to impact voice introduce yourself to the panel introduce yourself to the audience go ahead Hello, I am DJ Madonna, really big in Mobile. Mobile, Alabama is my stomping ground. I absolutely love uh, more than anything in the world. Um, but like Furman said earlier, I know him not just from just DJing or even in the field of education, because I do know him in the field of education, but I also know him uh, from going to church. So, and like he said, I'm very, very vocal on how I feel. So, fellas, I need for y'all to, I guess, voice your opinion because I'm definitely going to voice my music. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up as well. And also, I got my bloodline, my cousin, here. What up, D, man? Thank you for taking time out to be the schedule. I see you out and about, man. I'm looking yes. forward to hear what you got to say. And, and go ahead and introduce yourself, bro. All right. Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Demetrius. Um, small business owner. Um, my gift to the world is, you know, just motivating people to do better. You know what I mean? Do better, learn from your mistakes, things of that nature. 
Oh yeah, that's man, what's that's what's up, man. I, I'm very feeling good about this panel tonight. Like I said, if you're watching us on live stream right now on Facebook, man, we want you to like, comment, share. We want to hear from y'all. This is going to be no holds barred. This is going to be uh, unadulterated. It's going to be uncensored. It's not going to be none of that, that cake, what, cupcake. That's another term, ladies, that, that guys are used to so many fellas. Cupcaking and stuff like that. No cupcake right. and no synth and no betas allowed if you all about that drama. So... <laughs> I'm start out with the ladies, man. I want to ask this question, ladies. And I'm start off with my little sister here. Yeah, she's very vocal. Harris, of course. <laughs> when it comes to the interaction to, with the guys, what are the some of the things the guy? Okay, they say you're in the mall, you're in the store somewhere. What's the average conversation a guy may say to you? How do he approach you? How do it come about in this day and age? We know a lot of dudes be some. Creepy little dudes out here. So how do you how do you handle that approach? Well, depends on the guy's age. So say if the guy looks young, like about my age, um, you most of the time it really just depends on how the guy is. Most of the time, though, I'm always experiencing like, um, dang little mama, oh let me get your number, little mama, you know stuff like that. But then I've also experienced like literally just the other day I was in QT. And I don't keep my money in my account personally, so I always have to transfer it over. So that's what I was doing. And I don't know if the guy, the dude thought maybe I was broke, but it also caught him paying attention to me while I was in the store. So um, come to find out, he pays for my, my, my snacks. And I'm like, well, okay, thank you. So I guess that's a way of talking. Um, I've had guys come up to me, ask me for my number. But then older guys, they're just complete freaks, like just freaking perverts. I'm like, you're old enough to be my great grandpa. Like, what the heck? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> dang, at least be sweet or something. Granddad Jesus. ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> like, no. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, so, I just want to go ahead. I'm gonna ask you a question. So, I'm, I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna ask you a question behind that. Okay, so like whenever an older dude comes to me like that, I, I give him the meanest meme mug like, I can give him in my life. Like the meanest meme mugs. So I'm like, yeah, that's disgusting. But yeah. <laughs> but uh, you give me an okay, you say they come up as creepy. Yeah. Don't hold back. Give an example. What did they be saying to help somebody out there so they know what not to say when they're approaching you? Okay, um, for example, I was working at the mall at the time, and dude looked like he'd be like 73 in his 70s, come up to me and ask me for a pen. I said, okay, I'll give you a pen. Then he was like, how old are you? And I was like, 16, 16 or something. And he was like, uh, oh, well, I was going to write down my number, and I was going to see if I could be no sugar daddy. I said, what? Like, if you said that to my, if my dad was around? no games no games playing you know what i'm saying or uh i know i'll walk into the gas station say if i'm dressed up or whatever and dudes just look like older dudes they do not care they will just look at you stare at you up and down like they do not care and then even if you give a me mug they'll still look at you smile i had dudes stick out their tongue at me like just being complete creeps and it's just highly disrespectful and i feel like I feel like just because a woman is wearing whatever she wants to wear, that doesn't justify how a man is supposed to approach a woman. I feel like women should wear whatever they want to wear. And it's up to you if you're going to be a man about it or if you're going to be a little boy about it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. But why would a guy that old want to approach a 16-year-old at the I time? But let, let you know, the let you know he did that before. And, yeah. and he's just looking for one thing. And you know what? We tell guys all the time, it's not about your penis. It's not about the sex when it comes to a woman. That's what they got the guys to understand. They want to, okay, they got to get this woman in bed. Get past that. That stuff is elementary. It's all about maturing and being a man about your business. And that's what it's all about. The yeah. approach. The, and I don't know why some people think it's all about sex, and it's really not. When it comes, it's okay, you're the notice one. I want to get to know this woman in an intimate way. When they say intimate way, not talking about in a sexual way, but getting to know her as a woman, yeah. as a human being. Yeah. Is this the person? Go ahead. Sometimes it's deeper than that, man. I don't know if y'all heard about this, but sometimes those older guys be trying to groom. Yeah, those younger women. I've heard that too. And try to, and try to mentally. You know what I'm saying? Break them down and and, and 
and try to sway them a, a different way to where they can have, where they can separate them from family, friends, and all that stuff, right. where they completely control them. So, yeah, some of the sexual man, but uh, some of these old folks, man, old men, be trying to groom these young ladies, man. Right. And it's crazy. Oh, yeah, and, and I'm glad you brought that up, um, Casey. So, just to really pick it off what Harry was saying, what can you, uh, what do you want to add anything to it? You got a twist you want to put on it? Because like I said, we really want to have some healthy dialogue here tonight. Yo, I know. I know. Usually, like if any, if those situations happen, I just give them a mean look, and they, you know, they don't mess with me. Um, but I have had guys in a club be like, "Oh, she with me," or "I'm buying her." I'm like, no, no, I'm not with you. I, obviously, I say it way more R-rated than that. But like, no, like I'm not with you. Like, get out of my face. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to have a good time with my friends. I'm not here to go whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Because I know at the club, obviously they looking for females to go, right. you know, hunt down, basically, so. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. And a, a lot of that, too, like, a lot of that, I mean, like you said, you know, no no man should approach no no young woman, you know, based off of how she dressed, but that does play a key role in how things, what happens to you, you know what I mean? It's just like colors, right? If you yeah. wear a certain type of colors, people are going to react to you a certain type of way. You know yes. what I mean? If you come into an interview and you wear a certain type of colors, people get a pleasant, a pleasant feeling from you. You know what yeah. I mean? And so yeah. if a man see you and he see all that, and that and that's no excuse for no older man to be talking to no young girl. Once you say, hey, look, I'm 16, then that should have killed it right there. You know what I yeah. mean? So like, all right, well then look, let me school you up on something right quick. But you know what I mean? They just look at it like, all right, she busting it. So I might as well try to see what's going on, and that's not right. That's, oh, that's, 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 that's a sign of being that, a pervert. Yeah, that, that tells you what type of man he is, and you just said it when yep. you said that, that's saying that he's a pervert because you're right about the colors, but you got to think about it when your mindset is totally different. You know, you're not mm -hmm. going to approach everything the same the same as that way. So if and he is true. a 70 something year old man or if he's older, he, but let's get it, let's, let's be honest. You know, a 16 year old, I don't care how her body looks. Her conversation, yeah. you know, um, her features in her face. You, you know, a lot of men are not, not even just men. People, period, are try to, you know, come off like, oh, I, I, I thought that she was. It. You know, you know how. Yeah. It was. yeah. You know, you yeah. could the intellect. Everything tells you. So, you know, you it's pretty much like try to spear by the spear. When you know better, you do better. You know, exactly. you know she's a baby. So why are you, you know, so but but it happens. And like the other the other gentleman just said earlier. He said, uh, well, you know, they, they, they more want to control and want to groom. I mean, something that I thought about that is you're not going to approach a grown woman. Why aren't you talking to a woman your age in the first place? Yeah, exactly. Why, why, well, you know, you, you probably can't keep it. You probably, and you know what, it's okay with the age. If, if you like younger, no problem with that at all. But don't try to use babies. Why are you yeah. trying to go towards a baby? You, you've been that age three, three times ago. You know, so if they're trying to control, that shows you something is wrong with them all yes. the way. And it goes for, it's vice versa. Because it's women, women do the same thing with men as well, with young boys. You got to, you know, so. Right. I mean, yeah, I, and, it's, and indeed, I'm going to ask y'all that when it comes to age, and I just want to hear from the women, is it a certain age that y'all will talk to and y'all won't talk to? What? Uh, yeah. When it comes to age. Oh, you can go, you can go if you want to. <laughs> oh, go ahead, yes. Um, I, I, I prefer older. I okay. prefer older. I would love. Oh, okay. Rewind. <laughs> I would love. <laughs> I would love someone in in my age bracket that you know they got it together and can actually. I don't say keep up, but they can they can really connect with me spiritually, mentally, right. emotionally. Mm -hmm. You know, they can really. But it just seems like. By the age of like, it take them so long to, to, to catch on, oh, you know, no. it, it just take them so long by 40, 42, 43, that's when they start catching on and they still ain't come on. <laughs> so, and then, you know, and you can keep on going older. It's just, honestly, Furman, I, I, I prefer older <laughs> and then they, they're a little bit more, they're a little, little more settled, right. you know, but, but then again, it's nothing to pick from when it's over. <laughs> because they just is, mm. so yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, just being honest, what about you, P, as well? Is it okay, so, with you? 
so for some reason like i've talked to older guys but for some reason the guys always end up being younger than me like always but not by much maybe by some years um but not by much but i will say that regardless of the age it just seems like like it's it's so true when they say women mature way faster than dudes like dudes will literally always be boys and my mom tells me this all the time we sit there and we have talks all the time because when it comes with her in love she a g so i go to her for advice so she tell me your my dad for example they've been married for 24 years okay but my dad has put my mom through some shit. i mean through some sorry for my life no, you good, you but good, through, you good. Yeah. through some stuff but she still you know stuck, stuck with him and my mom she tells me that when you meet that guy he won't be all the way perfect but he will know what you like he will learn to know what you like and the rest you can shape him up yourself yeah i understand that yeah he's supposed to be already kind of shaped up because his mom should have taught him that in the first place but certain little things you know he's not going to be perfect like that but what i will say from what my experience is it just seems like guys my age just want sex literally like nobody and i'm just like yo sex is it will always be there like we don't have to just only have you know like and i feel like in a relationship if it is based upon lust it's not gonna work out it's not you need to build that you know that connection at first i feel like love shouldn't be in the middle of the relationship lust is supposed to be a bonus i mean obviously you know when you date somebody you want them to be attractive you know stuff like that but at the end of the day if it's only based upon that it's not gonna work out point blank period hey now you talk about being honest what about you i'm gonna ask casey casey <laughs> mr wine down wins himself what you man. gotta say man <laughs> um i think i think it's i think it's perpetuated the wrong way a little bit you know because just from my personal experience, you know, I've met some women that were that were old and supposed to be more mature, and they were just as childish as, as, as somebody that was 16 or 18 years old. You know, um, it's, 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 it's some stuff that has happened to me. And of course, I, um, I blocked their name, I blocked their picture out. So I like, actually had to show somebody, because if I told somebody what happened to me, they wouldn't believe me. They'd be like, oh, that's something that a man would do. Like, no, nah, women women can play games too. Yeah, I think the thing, they, they can. I think the thing with the stereotype, with, with the men is we're a lot more sloppier and careless with how we do <laughs> stuff and the women have kind of like perfected it you know what i'm saying if, if, if they're doing that they have perfected it more more than we are because i know j just being honest and transparent that that was a time where i should i shook the guy's hand that that the girl i was talking to at the, at the time was sleeping with and mm. then and then oh. and, and, and 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 had no clue <laughs> you know what i'm saying no clue at all versus you know what I'm saying? If it was the other way around, the man gonna start, I'm probably gonna start sweating. I'm gonna start stuttering. I'm gonna start saying stupid stuff that I had nothing to do with the conversation. Cause I'm nervous. I'm like, man, she, she, must, she must know something. You know what I'm saying? So women kind of have more like that poker face and, and those poker and those poker emotions when it um when, when it comes to that. So for me personally, I really won't date, I'm 42. I really won't date anybody like much, much younger than me because I been there, did that. And nah, that wouldn't, that ain't for me. But you know, so I believe that everybody that there's somebody for um for everybody, you know, and a lot of the guys that get they get played to the left, I think those are guys that are kind of like in the pocket. Those right. are the guys that, that are not like, you know, saying maybe not the adventurous type or or are out here just all in the public, all in the public spot. Like those are more like the introvert guys that get looked over because they're deemed as boring. They're deemed as vanilla and and green and and, and all that other stuff versus the guys who are more up and outgoing, guess what? They're gonna meet more women. They're gonna bump into more people like that. So, so their options are, are a lot more than the guy who's the introvert that normally gets looked over. Well, you, well, gotta, you gotta think about, you, it's, it's online dating now. So those yeah, are the guys who are so so very that. quiet. Yes. There's yeah. a lot of narcissists uh -huh. that is. are, the men who you say are in the pocket, those are, they're worth it. Those be the main ones because they have nothing else to do. You got they the online dating. The yep, exactly. I just, I've, been, I've been there, done that already. Been there, done that. <laughs> yeah, been there, so done I, that. I'm sorry, friend. <laughs> Try yeah. <laughs> Try All right. Okay. Uh, that's my cousin. Uh, D, what you want to say? Do you have anything you want to add? Uh, shoot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that was kind of messed up, bro. You know, uh, that, 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 that happens, you know, women a little bit, you know, they, they, they're a little more structured, you know what I mean, and what they do. And, uh, you know, you got to watch out for stuff like that, you know what I mean? You, and it's true, you know, men and women are narcissists. You know, some can be, some are not. Uh, dang, that's crazy. <laughs> I was kind of blown about that one, but I, uh, I mean, I, I've been in them. I ain't never been in his shoes like that, but I did try the the good guy role before, just because I wanted to know what it felt like. Because I always was the bad guy, you know what I mean? Cause I don't know, I was just built like that. So I was like, you know, I I tried to be the square before, you know, I I approached the women differently, and you know, but like he said, you know, I I played that role. And boy, I got played so hard. Right. You know what right. I mean? But you, you gotta you gotta think too. You gotta think too. Those same women who you saying that played you, they I got played, played. That, they got played that I one time. Played. So they, they been you played know too. What? They got hurt. Yes, yeah. and you know what? You know what happened to a woman when she goes through so much things with so many guys, it's gonna take all those are just lessons. All those are lessons for the next dude. So when the next yeah. dude come around. She finna oh she finna up her game and the woman that you talked to that did that she probably upped her game and maybe she just on that same thing now and it's sad that it's like that it's like a repeating cycle but sometimes that's just the way it goes oh you know this and, right I here mean, hold on it's hitting no, up right quick hold on I got a question too I got a question for somebody okay. to comment okay. and the okay. question asked was do y'all think online dating has kind of ruined how men and women interact with each other no absolutely really. oh. absolutely. Yeah, that, well, how, how old are you? What what's how old are you? That my my other sister. How old are you? I'm 23. Okay, so you said no at 23. See, well, the reason why I say no is because I've talked to guys in person as well, and I've also done online dating. So I've done a little bit of both. And for right. me, I feel like it's kind of the same. I've dealt with the same situations. The dudes come up to me, try to talk to me. I'm thinking, okay, they want something serious. No, they just want to get my pants. They want to see how far they can go. Vice versa, same thing with, you know, online dating. But then I've also had good experiences as well. And honestly, I feel like I've had better, good experiences online dating that I have personally, in person. Um, say, for example, uh, Tinder or Facebook dating app. I feel like the conversation, I'm really good at texting. I'm really good at keeping the conversation flowing, not being dry, texting back, all that. So when you're, you're like that and then you get another person like that, you know, the conversation's good, you keep it flowing, get to know each other. So by the time y'all meet in person, it's not awkward. Y'all have already got that out the way. Like, it's just nothing but good vibes. So that's okay. it. Well, I, I asked how old you are because I, 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 we didn't have social media coming up. Yeah, so it was, it was on site. Like it was yeah. physical. Everything, yeah, everything was, was physical. On site. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Everything was on site. So like, like all this online, I'm 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 an alpha female, so you got to be an alpha, 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 alpha male. Yes, with yes. Me. But, but so, in other words, that online dating stuff, I'm not having it. That Texas yeah. stuff, I don't. I I'm I'm my well. I, this is about to tell about I guess who I am. Some of my men look, my men. What is that? <laughs> some of, some of, oh, my oh, men, okay. my men tell me that I'm that I'm mean. You know, yeah. so um, and I'm and I'm fine with that. And it's because I'm not gonna go back and forth with text. I'm not I'm not gonna go back and forth with online. I'm not doing I'm not doing it. I'm old school, I guess. And I'm I'm, I'm not old school, but I'm old school with when it comes to that online stuff. Yeah, it, it messed it up for me. The online dating, it, it's no interpersonal skills at all. They don't. You know, when you when you come in, in physical contact with each other, you know, I've seen people actually be sexy right next to each other. I just, I don't know. Am I old? I mean, is it a fact that, okay, I'm going to ask this, in, in, the conversation part. And I'm going to ask this to the ladies, and I'm going to ask this to uh, P first. If a guy comes with you with a conversation and it's boring, how do you deal with that? Um, like if it's online or if it's in person. In person, he may ask you. I'm okay. For example, he may ask you. Okay, I heard. I heard this guy say this the other day when I was downtown at Subway. He talked to this girl. Oh, what your name is? He t she told him his name. How do I know that's your real name? You could be lying to me. Oh, okay. Maybe he's just like you know trying to joke around but get the conversation pumping. You know what I'm saying? I would take that and be like. 
you know, that's my real name. I mean, why would I give you another name? Right. You know, and then that just kind of leads on to another conversation and so right. on. That's okay. Good. What about this? I'm gonna say this one then. Uh, what do you see yourself in five years? Oh, I would, how's your last relationship was? That's that's not both. That's not boring for me. You know, well, boring. for me, I feel like I don't know. I'm the type of person that it just really got to depend on the situation. If I see that they actually at least trying like to ask some questions, then I'm gonna go on and and talk because I can talk for a, a, quite a while. So <laughs> if, even if it is like a little, you know, small little whatever, I'm gonna still talk because maybe they're shy. You know, maybe they just don't know what else right. to say. But if the conversation is just like, like really dull, like you, you would know. Then I'm like, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go. You know, on to the next. But you, honestly, I feel like you could tell if you're really good at that. But see, y'all women, y'all got game. And I ain't saying it in a bad way, but y'all women got game. <laughs> no, cause y'all could pick up on. And I asked it with girls before recently, and they say y'all they could pick up. Okay, they could pick up on the guy. They could tell when the guy insecure. They could pick up on that. Is that true? Cause a woman say. Y'all can pick on when a guy is insecure. Is that true? All men yeah. have insecurities. But can y'all pick up on it though? Of course. We birthed yeah. y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We birthed y'all. We know. Like, especially just how you come off. Like exactly how you come off. You could be the finest dude ever, but how you come off, I'ma know, okay, yeah, you got insecurities. But, but sometimes yeah. oh sometimes no, I know. question <laughs> sometimes I question why. The fine ass dudes have all these insecurities. It's like, bro, you look good as hell and you're a good person. Why do you have these insecurities? And then you got a fine female that's interested in you. So what is the insecurity for? You know, but I guess it just goes deeper than that for some. So we go, yeah, we, we, we finna stay on this one right here. So I'm gonna get the <laughs> guys to plug in on this <laughs> one. Case, what'd you say about man. that one? What man, you say I about was, man, y'all, y'all, y'all dancing around, man. I had something to say about the first day for <laughs> But I'm go sorry. ahead. We got all day. Man, I, I know we got out, but let me let me say this real quick. You know, it, it's, it's kind of a double standard when it when it comes to that. When y'all say like, a, oh, a woman has been hurt so much, so she oh, goes man. through this, and this is why she treats the guys like that. But if you think about it, like like to me, that's kind of deflecting because if a guy's been hurt, what what do women normally say? Oh, you should be dating if you're still hurting. Or I'm not, I'm not the other one. With <laughs> yeah, like yeah. But when, but when it's but when it's the, when it's the yeah. way around. You know what I'm saying? It's an old way. They dealt with so many guys and, and she just looking for no nah, man, keep that same energy. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to that, okay, I'm done with that one. The online dating. Okay. The reason why online dating has, has ruined everything is because you have you have so many options at your disposal. You can literally be talking to like 10 people, you know what I'm saying, at one time and just line up, just line up different people on, on hey, different days. My man. I'm uh -huh. <laughs> my my man, my man. That's, that's a good it's thing. Cool. You gotta keep your options open. You always have not, to keep your options open because you not, know what? Wait a minute. Let me uh uh, no, no, no they ain't finna go to bed with me. Yeah, they ain't gonna bed with me. No, you're not. I have a personal experience. Let me go ahead. They all looking at a fool, goddamn. Let me say this real quick. So, there was this guy I was talking to recently, and you know, he was cute. I was cute. You know, I think we was cute together, or whatever. You know, whatever. And if I'm really interested in somebody, I'm gonna literally cut off everybody else and really focus on you because that's how it should be, right? Right. So, right. I was interested in the dude, okay? A uh, week goes by, everything's good. After that week, he starts. Uh, it was it was a red flag. One red, first red flag. First red flag was, oh, um, why you? I know you talking to other dudes. Da, 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 da. I'm like, and it came out of nowhere. I'm like, no, I'm not seeing. And it took me some time to kind of figure this out. I ain't gonna lie. Now I know, but it took me some time to figure this out. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, so then next week come around, we're supposed to be hanging out. We argue a little bit. So then he sends me a screenshot of him texting another girl saying, and this why I was on here Saturday anyway. And I was like, what? Okay. So I said, cool. You want to be like that? Bet I'm going to do this. is 50 50 with me. You do something. All right, bet I'm going to go do the same thing. Because, like I said, there's options out there. You're not the only dude. Yes, I was interested in you at the time. But since you want to be on that, I'll be on that too. So I took myself, went to my DMs, talked to somebody else. Okay, cool. So then the guy, I guess he got you know, felt guilty, apologized, or whatever, and, and took me out. So we went out, had a good time. Um, I'm over here asking him to change the music because I'm driving, and I don't like being on my phone while I'm driving. Dude disrespects me and goes through my phone. 
Number one, we're in the talking stage. What are you going through my phone for? Number two, like that's like there is no number two. This is why are you going through my phone? So um, he sees the DMs. He gets mad, makes a big ass scene, and he's trying to play victim. Why are you playing victim when you started it? But you just can't handle the same medicine that you're giving out. That's what that is. But you over here trying to play victim. Wow. So um, then, so moral of the story is like there was a lot that went on in that. But moral of the story is. I feel like guys act like that because they have other girls on the side, but they don't want somebody to do that to them because they can't handle that. So oh. whenever they can't, because so like whenever a girl, like I'm telling you, when a dude cheats, it's like the girl, a woman is so, uh, is so inv emotionally invested and she's so forgiving sometimes. Sometimes she ain't. But just depending on the situation and how long y'all been dating and all that stuff, she just want to work things out, everything to be good, and you you to love her like she loves you. Right. But whenever a dude does that, so, you know, a woman is forgiving. But when a girl does the same thing to the dude, oh, my God, all hell breaks loose. I can't touch you no more. I can't see you no more. You disgust me. How? You do the same thing. Couple one, it's a pride I, issue. I don't, I don't, Go ahead. I don't. I don't play those games. I don't either. I don't. Either. I don't. I but don't I'm play with them. Like, yeah. like it's like y'all with your means like that. No, no. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like I don't, I don't play with my. I don't play with my men, and my men don't play with me. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is what I'm gonna better. say on that. They they know better. Well, get back what people was talking about with the insecure dude. First of all, if the dude was confident in himself, he wouldn't worry about being scared. He won't be worried about what you're doing. He will be one to be with you for you. That's just me. Me personally, I'm not gonna look through your phone. Why well, didn't look through your phone? But first of all, I know who I am as a man. Yeah. So I'm comfortable with myself. I'm not finna be minded, morning growing. What's she doing? I'm just gonna tell you if she is messing around on you. My response, baby, have a good time. Uh -uh. Enjoy yourself. They're just me, because I'm not finna be all that. Upset, they just me. I'm telling you, go have a good time. Yeah, you run your pressure, and then I'm gonna tell you, as a matter of fact, I even have you go pick out an outfit to wear for that dude if you want to. Oh, hell no, <laughs> no, because yeah. see, y'all say what it is, you gotta know who you are. That stuff don't phase me. No, firm it. I hear you. No, my man no, is supposed I'm gonna let you go on. If you mess around, I'm gonna let you go on. Cause I'm not finna um, run my Well, yeah, of course, let them go on because at the end nope. of the day, like I said, it's other dudes out here. Mm -hmm. And so you're not the only dude. That's what my point was. But I feel no. like, you know, obviously, sometimes when a dude is doing stuff behind their back, they're going to try to find something so that to make whatever they're doing seem like it's okay. They're going to do that. They do it all the time. I'm going to say, say this, man. I feel like that about the woman. I felt that. I felt like that was the opposite. Because a woman that jump in a man's phone, so fast, his damn head is spinning. He'd be like, "What the hell you want?" And I usually, like, usually, usually, when that woman jump in his phone, he's he's a big cheater. It's, yeah, usually, it's he's a real big cheater. Her intuition is set in, and y'all gotta think mm -hmm. about it. Like you just firm just got some saying a minute ago. Uh, I'm gonna say, baby, keep on going, and you have a nice life, and let you go. But you gotta think about it. It's the eighties out here. Yeah, I'm gonna say, have a good time. That's just me. Well, yeah, I, hear, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. But what I'm but what I'm saying is, why it's 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 STDs out here. That's why I said mm -hmm. earlier I'll play those games. But right. it's you know then you gotta think. You know if say somebody do end end up getting some type of mm -hmm. STD. Right. You and, you and look, you, your evidence is that phone. And you mm -hmm. know what if you do go to them and they say, oh baby, you lie, you ain't catch me this. It's different reasons why people do go through phones. So it's not just because of inse insecurity. Sometimes exactly. it's for confirmation. Exactly. Okay, okay, but, but, yeah, yeah. but I'm asking. Some, sometimes, okay. not all the time. Sometimes it is. You, I know yeah. people go through. Why do we gotta go? Through, okay, if we gotta go through each other's phone, we don't need to be together. That's yeah. true. You, that's, that's I don't true. want to go to your that's phone. True. But you know what? That's true. But you gonna... with them. You with them though. Yeah. You gotta think. But, you you no. right. I don't have to be with you, but you gotta think. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. Right. So since you're not confirming anything, and I know what I know, and I know that God is telling me, look, he, he, look, he he doing it, and and I'm yeah. being faithful. 
I need to figure out, and I'm going down to the clinic, not just me, I'm just saying, right, you know, right, I'm just right. giving so it an example. Days. These things actually go on, but it you know. gotta, these people like tell the people do some nasty things now. Mm-hmm. So, so when, like what Farmer just said mm-hmm. earlier, if you feel like you gotta go through that, don't even give them a chance. If it's no, a red flag, keep it moving. Don't even play them games. Yeah, I'm not because at the end of the day, whatever done the dark will come to the light anyway. So I'm not mm-hmm. gonna if I'm with yeah. you, I'm, me this is how I me. Mean. If I'm with you, I'm with you. And we're gonna keep it one hundred with each other. And matter of fact, when we start like I'm forty now. So I my my I can't speak for everybody else, but my mindset has changed. So I'm looking at life completely different now. If I'm with somebody, I want somebody that's worthy to be with. Someone don't care my last name. Have, we have a family together. We're gonna build together because we go. Right. We looking for that's just me. Of course. But some people don't think like that, and some dudes are insecure. Well, I think that's the ultimate goal. But I'm gonna say, yeah. with y'all yeah. really though, and I hate, and I really do feel for y'all women though, because when y'all break up with a guy, y'all life feel in line. Because these dudes crazy out here. They want to go kill y'all, and they want to go pull out guns and. Back in the nah, day, they ain't no dude finna do that to yeah. me. Yeah, because yeah, these do guys like be going crazy. They do be like that, but ain't nobody. Yeah. I feel like at that point, you gotta be a dumb female. You gotta be one of those dumb females. You have to set the set the. Oh no, so ma'am! You. No, ma'am! No, you don't. Don't. Saying, no, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, no, I, for me, mm-hmm. I feel like you gotta set the ground right no. here. Right no. You can be very, 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 little baby. I'm sorry to tell you, at 23 years old, you got some good, good. <laughs> and they insecure oh, yeah, her, <laughs> they will pull it, they will make sure you're not going anywhere. And I'm not gonna say make sure, but they go, Demetri, you sit over there laughing at me. I see you laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, these things have sometimes it ain't gotta be that you that that is what's in between your legs. You can be a real good woman to that man, he don't want to let you go. You know, it's it's a you'll That's be true. all I can say is keep living That's like and, but I pray to God you don't go through this. Well, I understand him. what you're saying because I've had an ex that I I used to date in high school my senior year, but he was older than me. This was senior year, so this was like about six years ago. Dude has always still kept up with me ever since then. Like, uh, have his cousin watching my Instagram, all that stuff, like just trying to keep up with me because he knows I'm a good female. Always trying to come back. It's been six years. You would have thought he would have found somebody else, but I hope that he don't crazy stuff, but nah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's some women do that too. Women yeah, do some women want their men go. Real good men go. Yeah. Man, but, just, uh, go ahead. For, but back, I want to go back to the conversation to where um, she was saying that there's diseases out here. Mm-hmm. So on that, you are definitely correct. So for me, I don't go around sleeping with different dudes. I mean, talk to different guys for options. But I don't go around sleeping with different dudes because there is things out here. And also the way the abortion laws is looking, I mean, I can't go up and go get an abortion. I can't go. Um, some people are allergic to condoms. I, so I'm just I'd rather just keep myself to myself. And so I'm ready to find somebody who I want to give myself to. And I know that we're going to be, you know, together for some time. So I feel like for me personally, when I'm talking to a dude and they say, okay, I want to be on some serious things. Okay, I'm gonna put you to the test then. You say you wanna be serious, so I'm gonna see what you got. And if it gets to like a few months and you, you then all of a sudden, okay, uh, this ain't gonna work out. Uh, why? Oh, um, come up with some excuse or oh, um, well, you know, we're not we're not doing anything. What do you mean? What what are we not doing? We're not having sex? Why does that matter? You know what I'm saying? You should be respecting me and because I wanna do it when I'm ready. I'm trying to make sure I'm right. So usually when I when I wait. That's when I get my, that's how I always get my answer. But if I, you know, like say if we were to have that discussion, say if, you know, you want to be sneakily, okay, have that discussion with me in the beginning. Don't go out of your way and take me on dates. Don't take me out of the state. Don't do none of this. And act like you want to have a relationship. Because like I said, I'm going to put you to the test. And if you don't, if all they, if all you're looking for is one thing, okay, on to the next. So, so ladies, so ladies, y'all do test guy. Okay, you just said some calls right there. Um, mm-hmm. Casey, no man ask this. Do men test women like the ladies test men? I, I know her. <laughs> you know, because to, 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 to me, man, I, like, I like stuff to happen organically, right? You know, so, if, man, I mean, if you want to have sex, you're going to have sex regardless whether it's day number one or whether mm-hmm. it's day number, number 901. 
you know, so I, I really don't look going into it into playing games because a person is going to expose themselves anyway. Right. You know what I'm saying? Especially if, if you're really about being with somebody, you're going to go through that motions of being of, of trying to be with them. You're not just going to be on some friendship type stuff. So it's some it's certain stuff that you got to do, certain conversations that you got to have, certain places that you got to go. You know what I'm saying? For for you for you to establish that. So 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 no, I'm not I'm not with no you know saying no rule or anything. I feel like, I feel like um, when the relationship is going good and literally, like, you're not thinking about that, though, that should tell you something. Like, I feel like when you're talking to somebody and everything going good and you literally don't think about having sex and you're just thinking about, oh, we're going to have a good time, we just have a good vibes, I feel like that is what's more, in, I mean, yes, yeah, sex is important, but I feel like to build the foundation, like obviously, you know, you're gonna have sex if you want to. Yes, that's very true. You know what I'm saying? And it happens. It's not like anything that's planned. But like I said, like I feel like when it's mostly just y'all really just trying to build a connection, I feel like that's how it worked out. Like, I don't know, but I guess to each his own. No, that's, oh, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying some people come in with the mindset of we're not having sex. We're not gonna yeah. have sex. Today. Gonna, I'm saying just throw that out the window. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like be like go after which if you want to have, if you want to like, hey, like Firma said, hey, I want to be with somebody where they can have my last name. You know what I'm saying? We could build a family together, we could build a le legacy together. You know what I'm saying? What's is is him proving that more important, or is him saying, Hey, we're not gonna have sex until I know no, because not because because now because now you're not being you're not being organic. So, being so 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 let me ask you a question. So if a woman, if you would you build a future with a woman that'll have sex with you tonight? I was just gonna say just that because her. they look at oh I was just gonna say that. Okay. I was no, I'm, asking, I'm asking what what's your what's his name? Casey. K Casey, right? Yes, ma'am. Will will you build a future with a woman you just meet and have sex with the same night? Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> nope. Actually, actually, back when I was twenty, when no, it was, no, 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 today, 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 it it, 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 it depends the interaction after we had it. Mm -mm. Nah. No, nah. that mean that that mean what, you 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 seem like a man. That sounds like bull. That's cow. Because you no, seem no. like a man. You from, from from what I what I just heard from you. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, you I, I'm if if these women, women, ladies, or if y'all listening to this Zoom. He seems like now nah, Demetrius be quiet because he keep laughing at me. But <laughs> <laughs> Casey really seemed like he got his stuff together. And Casey, I was with you until you just pulled what you just pulled because it, it, just awesome. seemed, it just seemed it just like you got like standard. That. It does not work. Yeah, like you that. just I just it don't I work don't. like that because you know what? No, it's, it's, the it's, minute it's all. Mm -mm, listen, mm -mm. this is why I, I make believe. guys wait. This is why I make guys wait. He and, and that, he's not gonna know. respect. Mm -mm. Look, I've had dudes take me out of state, literally, like a couple things, but only to get one thing. I figured it out at the end, but all, it was only to get one thing. They would literally go out their way. So just imagine if I would have given him, a, if I would have given myself up after the first or second date, this has been going on for two months. If I would have given him up the first or second, third date, oh, he got what he won't. He's going to go on to the next girl. How am I supposed to know? Like, no, I'm going to wait. That way I can know when I'm gonna get my confirmation. It's not so much as, oh, we not gonna have sex. Da, 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 da. It's not like that. It's just so more, it's it's more of I have self-respect and I'm not gonna go lay with every dude I talk to. Can I ask y'all this? Well, I'm gonna say, say something also. Hold, 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 firmer, 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 real quick, real quick. Hold, hold, hold. Let me ask y'all this. Come on, okay. I'm in a relationship. Because we can look at it as sluts. I'm gonna say, wait. Let me ask y'all this. 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 Uh-oh, Demetrius wants to say, I'm sorry. How many y'all have? How many y'all have, have waited? How many? How many y'all have waited and it still didn't work? How many y'all have been that, that ain't. That's not well, what's I, going I, on, I, Casey. Like, Casey, uh, that's, that's not. That's that's not what we're talking about, yeah, Casey. That's, that's not it, Casey. That's not what we're talking about, Casey. That's, that's, not, that's, 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 not, that's not what. That's try again. I'm not saying that, that on the first date. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking to, to, to knock somebody down or whatever. Like that. I'm not. Say, I'm not saying that at all. But what I'm saying is, and that's why I say it depends what happens. What happens after that? You know, because if you if you start, because women can do the same thing. Like, oh, the, but I well, the, the, the question was, will you have sex with a woman you just met? That was the question. 
and marry her I mean, after you just and marry her. her and name. marry her. <laughs> but I can I can give you my answer because y'all minimizing it because if I'm talking about marrying her, steps have to take. We're not gonna get married the next day. So you know don't so yeah. so just watch what you, I get what you're saying. So just kind of yeah, I I get yeah. it. I am not that's not nothing that I'm that's not nothing that I'm looking for. Because for one, you know what I'm saying, you gotta put yourself in that in that in that position. You know what I'm saying? To be like that, because I'll put it to you like this. If we had sex on the first date, and let's just say it was in it was in a public place, then I'm like, well, dang, how many people should have did this with? You know what I'm saying? The way you're so comfortable where, where we in the movies or whatever, something like that, if, if it got to that point. But if it's something if, if it's something somewhere else where we're in a comfortable setting and, and emotions are high, whatever the case may be, then to me that to me that's something that's something totally different. And but this in my this is my humble opinion. What can I, I say this question. though? Go oh. ahead. But I, don't I have want a question. To. So say, what if you like, you know, y'all just beginning to talk or whatever, and you invite them over to the house. But literally, all y'all supposed to be doing is, you know, watch movies, vibe, and maybe play some games. That's a comfortable setting. But what if like, and I, this isn't that happening to me, just just a hypo hypothetical situation. So say if like, okay, y'all are at the house, chilling, da da da. Okay, some stuff happened. Then, but like the vibes before that was like on some some real connection. At least you thought it was on some real connection vibes. Okay, mm -hmm. then you know tensions start boiling up. Y'all do the do, do goes. Then what? Like you know, like you just never know. Then it's like you just gave yourself to somebody, and then it's like it wasn't even worth it. I mean, well, be like that. And then not only that. Oh, it don't, don't bro. Do guys, that. Also, I feel like guys think like when they have when the girl lets him like lets him hit for the first time, then she's easy. Guys think like that <laughs> all the time. But it's like if we have this discussion nah. or I don't know. Yeah, I feel nah. like the guys I've talked to, they think I feel nah. like it's nah, man. If, you girls are if, if, if you go if you that. go meet a girl at the club, yeah, it's different. It depends on the bun. Okay. Yeah, it depends that on the bun. Did it too, but yeah, it depends on the but it depends on the dude and the bun that they have. It's it's yeah, different. Right. It's different for different folks. Yeah. Okay. But, even, but what if the bond you thought the bond was good? Like you know, it was straight. Like because you can tell when a bond when a dude just want to only f, and then you yeah. can tell when they try not. To, try to spirit by the spirit, baby. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> Try to speak about it. That's all I can say. If it, if it, if it feel right, do it. And if like, like, um, yeah, I'm saying earlier, like I said earlier, you know. Yeah, actually. But I'm, I'm saying, saying if we, we, we're chilling, and you and you put your hand on my thigh, my jaw's gonna turn to water. Okay, <laughs> okay, that, okay. That's what I want to say. I mean. Uh, that's why I want to ask. Okay, women know. Okay. Hey y'all, I'm okay, sorry. They, I'm just on this thing, man. This this thing been. I'm finally on it for real, for real. Man. Oh, it's so, all good. We appreciate you tuning oh, in, David. God. But get back to what I was saying. Okay, so women know. I know they say that women do love sex, but y'all hold yourself. Okay, if y'all see a, a guy that y'all interested in, yo, well, well, guess go to work with him. But can y'all really pick up when you're attracted to a guy or not? Yes, bro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> so they yeah. say women love sex, but y'all don't have sex with anybody. Nah, no, y'all no. will. Nah, it y'all do that. I, I would say every woman is different. It depends yeah. on a woman. Because I know females that go have sex with anyone or go have sex with, you know, okay. they just doing their thing. But for me personally, I just, I personally don't want to just go have sex with a lot of people. So it just depends on the Because person. you got I'm more. Not, you got more. Y'all got more. That's why I say because y'all men, dudes, I don't say men, dudes don't care. They leave with their like, I know they don't care. They don't. You can they, really look at a dude and tell him, hey, what's up? You you cute as hell. He drop his jaws. He ready to drop his jaws. Yeah. <laughs> 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 No man, not no. Man. Yes. Uh, man, that's yes. a week, boy. Y'all play that's yeah, a week tonight. Nah. <laughs> yeah, they play. Well, y'all need to talk to us. Keep up. That ain't him. <laughs> yeah. Not over me like that. that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but for me, I, uh, if it's like a dude I'm just meeting, I just can't. I feel like I have to have a connection there to have sex because I can't just. Mm -hmm. I'll feel disgusted if I just uh, look around. So in other words, y'all could you could pick up on y'all already automatically pick up on it. Well, well, I'm attracted to this guy or not. Where some dudes just don't care. They just, yeah, we you we I I have to be attracted to you. I yeah. mean, it's like it's not I mean, just yeah. a physical. It can't be a physical. It's not just a physical attraction, right? Um, you, you get what I'm saying. You, right. it's not just a physical thing with me. It's 
it's real big. Now don't get it twisted. I'm one of the ones that I'm I'm one of the ones we're not finna, we're not doing it. We and just so, not we we not I'm mm-mm, we're not doing it. Careful, it. You careful. You careful. Who careful? careful? You who oh anyways, I'm not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care. Hey, oh, but, okay. Well, okay, if you feel that way, that's okay, David. How you doing today? How you doing? I'm okay, I'm gonna ask you for the guys <laughs> as well. Do men? Well, let's take that back. Uh, I know men have standards. Men, men have standards. Oh, a real man has standards. Oh, hold on. A real man has standards. <laughs> what's a what's a real man, Sherman? Yeah. Oh, a real. Oh, what's a real man? A real man has standards. Because a what man, is a, like what's a real man? man? Was a real man. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm tell you. A man that knows himself, a man that knows his limitation, he knows what he ain't going to deal with and what he will deal with, and he's not going to offer himself up to any and every female. I'm not like that. I'm not going to offer myself to any and every woman that I see. That, first of all, that makes me look bad, makes me look thirsty, makes me look creepy. It's not a good thing. For a man, real men, real men uh, have standards, and they still do it. I can't say that, but no, they're male. They ain't a man. That's a male. They do it. It's real men that do yeah, it. They have they, and yeah, do but it. they don't care. They just think with their own head. And that's something they, they got the game all switched. It's not about between y'all legs. And that's what they But see, about. it's very rare nowadays to even find a dude that's that's thinking on that level though. Like nowadays, dudes just it just seems like all they want is sex. I mean, and I know not all dudes want that, but at the end of the day, like it just seems like that's just all it dudes got it. Are on it, it has a lot to do with too. To I can't. Dude, if you're just talking to one dude, then it won't even look like that. If you're talking to more than one dude, yeah, it's gonna look like that. No, like, it's oh, not. No, no, uh-uh, no it's no, not. No, that is it's all wrong. No, it does. It don't. It, I will say. Well, like you, like what she's saying, it seems like all dude. I'll say this. No, you. are Probably that one dude, you'll think that probably that one dude probably is a real big cheater. Then you probably got male friends, and guess what? They they're probably not on what on that he, type of time. He just just mm-hmm. real real attracted to you like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, but well, well, I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you 100. percent But what I am telling you is that just because you're talking to different males don't mean all of you feel like all of them. You know what I'm saying? Or, or cheating. Yeah. I don't know what, you know, so I'm not, I'm not, what I was about to say was a lot of time, a lot of men do that. It's not just the men solely. If a lot of these women had standards mm-hmm. and it wasn't it's easy for them to out just up and get it because you got to think now, we live yeah. in a time where a lot of these men have so many options. All they got to do is pick their clothes up and move in her house. Yeah, exactly. and then go to the next one and move in. And, yeah. and, and then, yeah. look, I'm going to be honest. And then, and then look, and then look. So he keep on doing this with different women, but you gotta think about it. A lot of these women allow these oh, men to do this. Yeah, you're right. They allow. Oh, they allow. They, 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 they couldn't do it. They allow. That ain't that's a male. Away that's away. a male. A lot of them are not smart. Yeah, so away first away. of all, you man will have his own place you anyway. He should have his own. A man should have his own. He place. should. Yeah. He he, he yeah. should. He absolutely should. But what I'm doing is giving you an example on how accessible it is. How they, a lot of a lot of women are allowing these men to do what they want, and they but wouldn't see, do it. Hey, can I say that? But it, it worked both ways. Everybody is in need of something, though. You know what I mean? You, yeah. That's true. The woman is in need. She letting the man in because the man is, is trying to. He, maybe he got a little money in his pocket. He might look got a little dope money. He got a okay. little something to bring to the table. Ain't no woman in their right mind to me will let a man come into a house like that. It's something. You're right. She, she not awesome. no woman. You're right. Yeah, not a yeah. woman. Yeah. 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 Come on, we can sit here and lie. We can sit here and talk. That woman, right. that woman want that man in there for a real. I don't care if you, she, he, 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 she uh, brought him in there for some sex. Because, you know what I'm saying? Women use men just like a, man, a woman. It's got a lot to do with insecurity. It got a lot to do with insecurity. Yeah, yeah. 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 Women bring a man you know, in. The one to pay them bills. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The man got a little money coming. He might not got a lot, but he got something to bring it to the table. That's why she keep she letting that man in. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about that man. I'm just saying. You're right. Ain't no one that's gonna move on man in like that. Not not like that. He it's something he doing. He laying the pipe down, he laying the dick down, or he doing something for her. You know what I'm saying? Come on, be real about it. He doing something. 
But I'm just saying, the pipe down ain't that messed up. Yeah, at first. Yeah, no, because look, I be damn for letting dudes like live in my house just because he got some good pipe. I be damn. They do it. They do it. But yeah, they do it. I've seen the dude. There's a difference between just like there's a difference between a man and a guy. There's a difference, right? There's yeah, a, yeah, a bit different. And a female yeah, is what? Yeah, it's a bit different. So, Way a bit different. Because a man, like a man, going to be about his business no matter what. And I don't speak for me. I can't speak for everybody. I just know where I stand at, where I'm at in my life. And certain things I'm not going to sell. Just like accountability. Madonna, you brought that up. So, in other words, yeah. we should be more accountable instead of just pointing a finger. But being corporate, like you said, they allow these individuals to come into their life. When you don't have to, I believe in that. You should, you should. Want, no I mean, a lot of men want to do it. If, if I mean, and I'm not just pointing finger at what. What I'm just trying to say is, it's a cycle. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. It's a cycle. It's a, it's a cycle. A lot of, a lot yeah. of time, a lot of men will have this behavior. If a lot of women will stand on those, stand on, stand on what they're saying, and not let it, not let it happen. Yeah, exactly. Man, you gotta have, you gotta have standards, though, man. That's right. Men gotta have. Yeah, right. Right. That's it. It's a cycle. It's a cycle. Yeah. Right. It worked both ways. The man got to get the do it, do it himself too. We got to come back to our rightful place. We got to get back That's into right. our place and understand who we are and and, right. and find out what we need to do on this earth. That's a lot of us men are lost. And so the thing is, why, we have why do you think y'all are lost? Why you think so many, so many black men are lost? Oh man, uh, I just so think many reasons. reasons. I want to hear from y'all. Society, society. Yes. Well, what's that? Society have crippled our homes. It's all started back in slavery, man. Back in that way it goes way back beyond us. Yeah, you know, but I'm not why can't you be the one to change that? Why can't you be the one to change that? Why can't you be the one to change that? I ain't saying I'm speaking. No, I'm, I'm just speaking for you, but I'm yeah. saying for yeah. example, for a dude that is lost, why can't he be the one to change that? That's why we on here to to help aid that change. That's that's why we on here. <laughs> That's well, okay, so what me. I think what she's trying to ask is what is being done to you? I, I hear what you're saying. We all are speaking. But outside yeah. of this podcast, this podcast is what? An hour, two hours long. Outside yeah. of that for the rest of your life. Yeah. What's what's being done to make it? Because you got to think, we, I, well, I don't know. And I say, I made a little joke earlier about my men. But I'm going I'm to be real honest. I'm going to be honest. I don't, I'm tired of, I, I don't want well, yeah, our men to honest. be broken. I, I don't want our men to be broken. So yeah. what are y'all doing to say, hey, we got to get this together for our women? Yeah. I, because okay. we leave. Okay. We're and, and it's and not fair. Go ahead, DB. I'm going to say something. Go ahead, D. And I'm going to hear you say yeah, something. Yeah, man. First, it starts with, with the individual. Right. You know, That's like my true. uncle always told me, man, it started with two and ends with you. Yeah, you right. know what I mean? So That's right. it starts with the individual. You know, that's why I say in the Bible, you know, you know, you he's what it say, he who seeks shall find. You know what I mean? So that's if you right. seek knowledge, you'll find that knowledge. You're gonna find it, right? Yeah. Exactly. You're gonna find that knowledge, man, and you're gonna grow. And yeah. you're gonna learn what to do and what not to do. How you want your woman is how you want your woman. You know what I mean? So yeah. men gotta get back to learning how to be leaders, learning how to give his woman what she needs. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? Feed her that knowledge. So tell her exactly where he's going in life so she can help push him that way right you know what i mean communication yeah that's right communication i'm all for change yeah and i'm all for the change go ahead yeah yeah Yeah. and i I like this too men got to get back and understanding lonely being lonely and we don't really master you know this was a fellow man when i before i got on him it's like the enemy fighting me on on this live man i've been trying to get on here forever uh I was thinking about Adam. You know, this I never saw it like this. You know, when Adam was in the garden, he didn't ask God to send him nobody. He was so engulfed in his purpose, in his destiny, he wasn't looking for nothing else. God had to say, hey, you lonely, bro. You need a woman. He didn't look for it for real. He didn't, he he didn't so know it was a such thing as a woman. He didn't know. Yeah, it was only he, yeah, he, didn't he didn't know. He didn't know he not, could. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm just saying, even in that, he didn't even think about being lonely. He didn't even but work. I mean, he was so engulfed, engulfed. He didn't, he didn't, in the Bible didn't say that he asked God, look, I'm lonely, man. Sit and make, do something for me. Right. He was, that's when a man got to get so engulfed in their purpose and their destiny, they get to know who they is. 
Some of, right. some of us don't know who we are. We don't know right. what we like. We don't know. And that's what I did. Yeah, and that's what I, I, I did. Like, we don't know what, what we want in a woman, what we want in life. Like, getting to know our yeah. strengths, our weaknesses. What, what, what it is about me. You know, who, who I am for real. And a lot of men don't know who they are because they don't spend time alone. We don't know how we, we're not alone. I, I ain't gonna lie, that's, that's the biggest struggle. I think if me, some men will just learn how to just learn how to embrace loneliness. But you know, females be on that. Women, ahead, be, women are more on mean? that than guys are. And it's, it's kind of sad to say, yeah. but women, I guess, we be done, we're yeah. getting done so wrong so many times. It's like, okay, we gotta get ourselves together. We gotta learn how to love ourselves and stop right. looking for love. Because if, at the end of the day, a person is a person. Their feelings can change. Mm -hmm. So you never know. Mm -hmm. So if you build that up personally, you'll be the strongest person ever. Ain't nobody gonna come to you. You know what I'm saying? Then you good. Like you good. But I feel like guys need to be on the same thing too. Like, you know, you you see a little Instagram posts or Facebook posts about women becoming stronger, independent, doing all this, this and that, self-love. I feel like men gotta be on that too, because I feel like since men don't love themselves. Mm. A, lo so a lot cool. of them are, you know, messing around with other women and making it, you know, because they are lonely and messing around with other women it's to try to to try to fill that void that's there, but they don't know exactly how to get out of that. Yeah. So. That's why some of us are, are continue to go through this pe perpetual cycle. We get a woman and we get heartbroken because some of us start from heartbroken. You know, I remember a man at my job, you know, I work with grown men, like we work in heat, you know, and this man, I was going through, I'm going to tell y'all something, I was going through a little situation and I'm, I'm, I'm in I'm in there with tears flowing down my eyes, you know, I'm at work, you know, he don't know what's going on. He said, I bet you got a woman problem. I'm like, I'm like you know, I ain't going to tell you my business. But then he tell me, we know what the answer is, old young school. Then what he told me, you know, I'm I'm old school. You know what the the answer to your problem, man? Get you another woman. Like what? No. Another no, woman? We, oh man, I just talked about this man with you. Know. Us men, that's yeah. Like this, I already knew that. I, I said I'm not gonna. Do, I'm gonna let myself feel this time. See, some men, we're not. We're afraid to let ourselves feel. Mm -hmm. I gotta let myself feel this. Man, I'm not finna go get no another woman. If it don't work out, that ain't what that ain't the answer. I'm gonna get this bag. I'm gonna get this money because you see you what I'm speak, saying. You, you I, speaking a lot of good stuff, David. But the only thing that I haven't heard that I know you probably said in your head that you didn't say out loud is if you are going through that moment of being alone or whatever or being of that contentment of process, you got to do it with God. You you yes. the only way you gonna, yes. the only way you gonna yes. find That's out true. who exactly yes. who you are. You yes. gotta take your heartbreak to God, not to yes. the other one. And yes. it go the Amen. same, it go the same yes. way we, and, okay, so you remember when you, you remember how you said earlier, I was camping about, you know, not being with nobody. You remember uh, how you said that? So let me, let me yeah. just, let's just go that back. Is, <laughs> let me just, let me just show you something real quick. So yeah, the yeah. biggest thing I found that, that strengthens me, not only strengthens mm -hmm. me, but really hold my heart together, is number one, getting myself together with God, figuring out yes. what I'm doing wrong. Mm -hmm. when, and when I'm figuring out what I'm doing wrong, it also comes with being celibate. Mm -hmm. Because you got soul ties. Them soul ties ain't no just answer but survive. Nah. I'm sorry, what was that mean? You said something. It's kind of hard to believe that. Nah. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's all right. It's, 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 it's a lovely <laughs> thing. It's a look. Look. Hey, now, look you, 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 didn't, you didn't miss it, David. We talked about it. It's the whole conversation. You didn't. You missed. You missed how we talked about how. A man know, to come man. and try to stop you from leaving him physically. Let's just say yeah. I've had I've had those experiences. I've had oh, yeah. I've had I've had some bad experiences with me and not want to let me go. That will make you sit down, don't talk to nobody, and go to God and say, "Well, I know I'm a good woman, but what am I doing wrong? Why am I attracting these same men?" It'll make you sit down. Yeah, mm. yeah. And yeah. It'll give you I mean, that's how I learned. Yeah, I'm telling you, it'll. Yeah, you gotta do that. If I you got, I'm telling you, so. I got a personal experience right here too. And yeah. I'm not saying God don't work overnight. He works with impatience. But sometimes mm -hmm. he can have overnight, sometimes it take, you know, whatever amount of time. So, you know, I'm talking to dude and 
I, you know, I had been going through some things mentally and I just wanted somebody to talk to, you know, just somebody there. You know, when you're talking to somebody and y'all supposed to build something up and it's supposed to be a connection there, you're going to want to talk to that person about your feelings. You know, you want them to be there, vice versa. So, you know, me and a dude talking or whatever, have a, I'm thinking we having a heart to heart. He tells me some things. I tell him some things. He gives me advice. I give him advice. Okay, cool. Literally next day. Dude sends me a video of him with hickeys on his neck saying and trying to play victim. So, uh, who does that? Yeah, I know who does that. Right? <laughs> I don't even know. So, beta, beta, beta. So, beta, beta. I know. Beta, so beta. I, what I did was, but beta, before, beta. That, <laughs> before that night, beta, before beta. that though, when we were having that heart to heart, we got off the phone and I sat down and I prayed to God. I had a very long time with God. I sat there and I prayed, I talked to him and I'm like, give me a sign, let me know and remove anything negative that's in my life so I can keep on going forward. Whatever I'm going through, just be there with me. I know it's gonna be hard right now, but it's always like the end of the tunnel. We just gotta thug that out, you know, just keep on going, keep on going, build yourself up. So that's what I prayed about. And it was a long conversation. Literally the next day, I got my answer. He sent me a video with hickeys on his neck. Obviously he not for me, on to the next, focus on myself really focus on myself instead of looking for a, a relationship because at the end of the day i feel like if you're looking for it it's not gonna it's not gonna work out exactly. that stuff comes yeah, exactly. naturally so it really does start with yourself and if you have that relationship with god he is gonna help you get through it he gonna help you get through it and you're gonna mold into that strong person and you're gonna be ready for you know whatever mm. so i like yeah. that that's, that's deep and like i said i do believe in working on self first that is important knowing yourself, what I start doing in my in my own personal life, I start writing things down. I start writing things in my life that I want to implement in my life because I'm constantly building and molding myself to be that man that I know I can be with the help of God, of course. And that's important because when I know who I am, then I can be able to lead my wife into the thing, into our purpose, into our destiny. But yeah. if I'm broken and wounded, I cannot lead nobody at all, period. Exactly. So I believe exactly. in getting self together like Adam. Adam was deplete. God said it's not good for a man to be alone. He made a help me for Adam. He brought Eve alone. Just imagine how powerful us men would be. And I know the ladies, y'all y'all pulling for us, y'all cheering for us, and we love that. But just imagine how powerful that'd be as men that we get back into our rival place in society be them leaders you know how bad and how stopper we would be in the generation oh, i believe that for real, for real. Yep. yeah i get what you're saying and, and another but, thing the women have to get in a position too they because, will let me see go ahead go ahead finish yeah i'm saying because you know to be honest with you us men if we don't get it together you know the women are 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 are, are getting in higher position we got to get for us, the education, we gotta get ourselves together for us that too. But women got to gotta gotta humble themselves too. Because men, I, I'm telling you, we we some, it's a lot of leaders out there, man. You know, I mean we we it's, you know what I'm saying they out there, but they you got you dealing with a woman that is that is controlling and that is that is that don't want you to that go against the leadership in your home, don't believe that you the head. You know, they, they independent, miss independent. I don't need no man. You ain't gonna tell me what to do. Okay, and, I'm gonna you know, wait, I got yeah. something to say to that. I I'm, just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Yeah, go that, ahead and finish. That I, I think it works both ways in a way. You know, men, we lead away, but at the same time, women have to get rid of this mentality. Most, you know, especially if a woman is making more money than her husband or making more money in that relationship. She think, hey, nobody can. You can't tell me what do I got more, you know, and and and, it, and it's it's got to be where, you know, submission is your role. You know, that's what you need to be doing. I know that in this modern day time, and I ain't been, ain't no believing in no submitting no man and all that. But if you if a woman don't allow that, it's gonna be hard. You know, it's hard to lead a, a horse that that's stubborn to the way. You know, it, it, you know. It, Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, I got something to say to that. So uh, let me tell you how a woman thinks. Okay. Yeah. So a woman can be submissive, but she's not going to be submissive to just any dude. Now, mm. if there is a man who comes to Come her on, and baby. shows her 
how to be, you know, shows her what's up. Oh, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to do this. But, you know, it shows her what a real man is supposed to be. She's going to automatically want to be submissive to him. You don't just get that right off the rip because you know what? When you give that right off the rip, the dude is going to be like, oh, it's supposed to be like this. He's going to take advantage of you. Then it comes manipulation, comes gaslighting, comes cheating, comes lying, comes all that. So, I mean, it, no. it had, obviously, you got to start with the, the men. The men it don't. don't. No, it don't. I mean, I hear I what you're like saying. It, you, I hear what you're saying, like, but it, it, it got to start with God. Well, yeah, it got, it that's hurt. what it got. Of it. Right. So, so, so of course. That, David, like, of course. David, I just tell you this. I'm going to tell you what I saw her earlier. Try to spirit by the spirit. You know, if, if that woman is, made, it, I'm I'm real big. I'm, I'm alpha, but I'm very, very big on tradition. And I mm -hmm. do think that the man is head of the household. However, yeah. I ain't no weak man finna leave me. Yeah, exactly. I know that's man, so I would not to be strong, for that. Like the actual man. Okay, right. but ain't leave. Is he weak? isn't that like, kind of like an oxymoron, though? <laughs> what was that? What was say, that? Isn't that kind of like say, isn't that kind of like an oxymoron, though? What you what, mean? What, what do you mean? Like, well, I, I guess we finna segue into that now. Like an alpha woman. What about is, is, it? That, is, that, is, that, is that just a title that, that that we're just making up because that name has become popular? No, so alpha, not, alpha woman mm -hmm. means what he just said. It it was independent. Yeah, but, but okay. I'm, but, but, but why do we okay and independent and outgoing? But my thing is, if you if if you say naturally, if you carry yourself as an alpha woman, you're gonna want to challenge an alpha man. No, you're not. No, you're not. If you feel if if you feel like you're not gonna want to challenge no man. Period. No, a woman's not gonna challenge no man. Not a woman. A woman, yeah. listen, a yes, woman is will. not yes, a, a woman is not been a challenge no man. A female baby, yes, but not a woman. Challenge that man. I'm telling 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 that man. I'm telling
Is y'all together, you together. You know what I mean? Right. So if you together, then you're going to learn yeah. everything that your woman loves. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're not going to yeah. miss a beat. I, mean, I ain't going to miss a beat. You know what I mean? Her birthday yeah. come up, I'm on it. If she say something, yeah. I'm going to finish my baby sending. You know what I'm saying? I'm be like, I That's got you, right. I know what you want. That's right. You know what yeah. I mean? And so I'm just going to be on it at all times. And so in other words, that's, that's sexy to a woman when a man <laughs> takes the initiative to do things. Yes, a woman wants to be talking to a man like that. Put your foot down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, that's what <laughs> but so it, so it, all right, so all that right. means okay, that's going that's okay, that's going out. Okay. That's right. If you approach when we take a woman out. Oh, he likes me. Or even for example, her. say like, you know, he know what kind of toothpaste she get. He, he know what kind of uh movie she like to watch. He know oh. what she what kind how much season she like on her food. He know if she like broccoli or not, you know, little stuff like that. Yeah. Yep. I mean that's that, 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 that's cool and everything, but but can y'all have this? Can you have that same energy when when, when y'all not uh, saying hi? Okay, let me say so. Hey, Casey, let me say this, Casey. Now, now I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. If men listen, if the man is about his business, I'm telling you, if he is about his business, that one will automatically take care of you. She yep. will cook for you. She will <laughs> clean for you. She will make love. Apple or not? She will make love. She will make, love. Yep. She will make, love. She will make exactly. love to you because you know why? Because you're about your man. You're about your business as exactly. a man. And ways and, and ways you ain't thought. And you would have thought she practiced it last night. You'd be like, hold up. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you're about your business. Love to you in ways you'd be like, hold up, where they come from? Exactly. Or happy with you, yeah. and she's spiritually connected to you. That's and right. she just right. hung yeah. up on a whole nother level, right. man. Yeah, right. Right. exactly. She will cook for you, she will clean for you. Man, she'll make sure your work uniform ready. Oh, <laughs> me, yeah. And she'll make sure you and everything because you know why? Because you're about your business as exactly. a man. She'll, exactly. she'll, she'll, she'll she even talk that. baby talk for you. She'll even, she'll yeah. even talk yeah. baby talk. Yeah, uh huh. So tell the guys, <laughs> this, exactly. we, this, this heating up now. Um, so Dave, what you got to say? So you got a lot on your face. You had anything you want to say? No, uh, it's, it's the fact that, um, oh, we got a lot of comments too. But you get it, go ahead, go ahead and start. We got some comments too. Oh, Lord, yes, going back. Yeah, yeah, look, man, I don't know y'all. Look, I ain't no wild person. Dave but what I'm saying is, he wild. But, 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 but what the <laughs> thing is, the thing is. Like he said, I'm gonna go back to what he said about the uh, about getting to know each other up front. This is what I learned: is you got to put that everything on the table. Like a man, I mean, we talk to the men right here. You know what I mean? The men need to be up front about what they look for in a woman. You know, I'm gonna right. tell you right straight up. Look, look, I like my food cooked a certain way. I like, you know, just like stuff like that. I like my food cooked way. If you want me to pay all the bills. Then I respect you to cook my food the way I want, not the way you want to cook. Now, not not how you want to cook, but I want my food cooked the way I want to cook. It's gonna go my way or not, you know. It ain't going all your way now. Oh but I'm just saying, I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm just saying, I'm just using an example. See, a man got to be up front, up front about everything. Like, look, I like it my way or no way. You know. That helps though. It helps. Because you know what you know what you get in the middle. You, you know what you get. Yeah. If a woman the option to they say, help. I don't think I'm gonna roll with that. I don't know. I don't want to roll with see that's that's when a woman say, I don't, I don't think I'm I, I I ain't that type, I ain't with that. Yeah, I ain't with all, all right. that. But a man that when you when a man is ain't a man, he gonna he gonna, he gonna be manipulating, he's gonna be pulling you in a situation, then now y'all in a relationship and, and you arguing all the time over a power struggle. That's when the power struggle comes. But you avoid all that is as a man by being upfront with that woman. You you want her to submit, you need to you need to let her know, listen, it's going my way or no way. If I pay all the bills, I expect you to cook my food when I get home, you know, and I expect it to be cooked the way I want it to be cooked. I'm gonna put clothes, you spend your money on what you want to spend, you go to work. I ain't telling you not to go to work, but you go to work, you're gonna buy your own help with your own money. I ain't doing all that now. But I'm just saying, that's how a man's supposed that's a real man. Man ain't gonna lie to you 
He gonna tell you I'm coming. I got other women. You know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with it. You know, me and you, what the whoop, whatever. Wait, but, uh, wait, wait, yeah, wait. You, you say a real man got other women? I'm no. saying he gonna tell you up front. He gonna tell oh, you. Oh, so you say, but but I, I'm just asking you, a real man have other women on? Like dating? I'm not saying like. Wait, you know, hold on. I was I was agreeing with you. But they're gonna be real. They're gonna tell you up front. I got other friends. I got other. You know, they deal with. Other <laughs> friends. Hold on. Okay. You, you know. They gonna let you know they're not gonna hide it from you. You know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, he's he's just, I, I think what he's, I know what he's saying. Like, I, I get. I understand what he's saying, yeah, but I, I just wanted to clarify: do yeah. do do real men have other women? And y'all do like, too. Women do too. No, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't ask you about us. I didn't ask. I didn't ask you about us. I'm asking David. I yes. said David. I'm talking about you. The alpha man. Me. Yeah, real men have other women. We're not gonna say that. Firm me. Firm me. me. He said he 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 disagree with what you said. Now, how you feel about that? I don't have other. <laughs> Do you mean like other women? On no, the side? no, you no, said no, real no, men no, don't. No, you said real men do. Hold on, dating this is a question for you. Do you. You mean like real? You mean like other women on the side or like other like dating. friends? Like, like you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, dating. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, so I am you just, your friend. I'm your only friend. Right, so you know, ain't like, we ain't no relationship, and we ain't married. Ain't my own well, friend. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me get this right though. Let me see some. So if you're living with a woman and you, when you're, uh -uh. hold on, so you, are you saying that if you living with a woman uh -uh. and you paying the bills, you still able to have other females oh, no, involved? No, 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 I ain't saying that, no, no, no I'm saying if you, if he should be living with himself, by himself when he got his own house or whatever. And then he got all the, I'm not, no, I ain't saying that now. I'm saying now, if, he, if that woman earn that to his life, I believe a woman should earn that position in your life. If he if he married or with a woman and committed they committed to relationships, yeah, he shouldn't be doing all that. You know, he shouldn't. Okay, have okay, okay, but if y'all just talking, you saying keep your options open. You let him know. Yeah, if they got a he got okay, a mutual understanding. Look, we just I don't think a man should be living, you know, living together if y'all ain't for real about it. But he can do what he wanna do if but, he got his own place. But I mean, if, if he for real, place, if so if y'all living together, you got are you gonna have it. Are you gonna have other friends too while y'all nah, living together? Nah, nah I'm, I'm, yeah, not. No. No, no, no. I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm talking to David. No. I'm talking to David. Just said earlier, he said I'm gonna let her Ain't know no that I want my food. Yeah. No. He That's said I want my food. Not living together. Not living. I'm talking he about said, not I want he, David. This is what you said. Now we gonna play it back when we finish live. But okay, David, okay. I heard you say I'm a real man is gonna tell a woman he want his food yeah. cooked a certain cook way. He gonna way. pay all yeah. the bills. If I mean, yeah. if he paying all the bills, he want her to cook it a certain way, and he gonna yeah. tell her if she got if he got women on the side. That's what you mean. That's what you said, though, David. Yeah. That's what so I that means. So that means. Why y'all living together like and you paying the bills, you got other women on the side? No, what I'm saying, hold on. What I'm saying is, it is right now, this current, like, I'm just saying, if that man at that current, right when he meet her, uh -huh. he let her know what's up. Okay. Gradually. You, you see what I'm saying? Not, you know, what he, he's standing, you know what I'm saying? I still got people I'm talking to. I'm not saying, I'm just speaking to general. I still got people I'm talking to. Hey, listen, I'm just letting you know what's up. Up front, that's all, right? And it's up to her to to like, buy right. along with, yeah, right. And then they give her choices. I don't want to be with a man that's still, you know, some men that'll be really, I don't want to be serious with no relationship. Hey, man, hey, look, man, you know, we I come over there every now and then, you know what I'm saying? Call my house every now and then. We, you know, until you, I feel like we, you ready for we committed relationship, then that's what it is. But now nah, I just got other friends, I got other girls I'm seeing, you know, I'm strolling to, you know, like, hey, look. You my girl, I come and see on Wednesday. That's it. Then I got a woman on Thursday I go see. Oh. <laughs> I don't have to let all that. But I'm okay. just saying. Okay. Yeah, I'm being saying, honest. Though. Don't call my phone all the time because this ain't nothing. It ain't serious. If it's you got to do all that, if you got to yeah. do all that, you can't go to be talking to nobody. At all. I feel like yeah. that, that's yeah. what it is. Mean, like but, but if some women, some women down with it, though. Every woman ain't going to be down. Y'all ain't yeah. down with it. 
So no, no, you no you're right. Going. You're right. I'm not down with that at all. But what I'm saying is, then you move on. But that's, you, you can respect that man. Look, I'm, uh-huh. I'm not saying I'm like that. saying you can respect. I'm not. I can't be like that. I'm, I'm you know, what I'm saying I'm taking. You know what I mean? I'm just talking crazy on you. Ooh, I'm just I saying for another man to be good. <laughs> I don't play them type of games. I ain't not games, but I don't have to do all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, in a I don't know. Like, I don't get all that manipulation. I ain't got you know, nothing. I ain't got time for people, that. But uh. I That's believe too much work. I, you, some men can't afford one woman trying to have 10 of them. You know what I mean? You're right. You're right. You know, but you know right. what? I'm going to say this too, and it made me think about uh, Ruth and the Bible. Ruth asked one of the servants, What do the king like? You remember that when Ruth asked the servant, What do the mm-hmm. king like? All these women were doing things for themselves, but she wanted to get the king's attention. So do you believe that a, a woman would do certain things to get a man's attention, to get close yeah. to his heart? She did that. Ruth did that. Ruth. I'm not Ruth. Ruth. Huh? I'm not Ruth. <laughs> Some women will. I, I would say. No, I, would I ain't say never did that. I ain't never approached a man and never did that. No, if what I'm saying. Did. No, what I'm talking about, I ain't saying like that. But she asked, when she asked, what do the king like? That's right. not like a step down. That's something, okay, she actually was interested to that. Hey, so some, if, 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 back to, I guess it's kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, for example, say if a, a guy really likes a girl, he gonna see what she likes. He right, he gonna he hear a conversation, he yeah. gonna ask her friends, family members, they let you know that he pays attention to you. Yeah, he want it, he want it, right. Yeah, and pays attention, because if you really into somebody, you gonna pay attention. And you gonna find the things they aren't interested in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. Because if a one if a man wants you and he wanna be with you, he gonna find things that you're interested in. So in other words, talking to you and then talking at you. But at the same time, it's a, the I feel like the man is supposed to do that. Like that's the man's job. The woman, I mean, yeah, the woman is going to like eventually find out what you like and stuff to get your attention. But at the end of the day, I feel like the man is supposed to go five miles more than the woman. Like mm. it's just supposed to be like that. Yeah, so, they don't do that no more. I don't agree to that. They don't I mean, he ain't gonna no approach her. I they mean, those men on the other, they they stink. Yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. it should be, though. Uh, they, what you gotta say. they don't live in it. What you got to say? You say you disagree with them. I, I believe uh, it, it goes back to that old song, Eyes of Brother. He told, it, he told on y'all. He said, let me tell you this song. He said, choosing love. <laughs> you know that song? No, let me tell you, I read that song. I, I listened to that song that man talking about, though. He knows something that I didn't know. He said, choose it. I'm so glad you chose me. You know, I, I this man said, man, uh, I'm so glad you chose me, baby, baby. And you, it, y'all know the, y'all know the rest. Oh, yeah. So I believe, I believe a woman, if she interested in you, she's gonna choose you in so many ways. Y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all don't let us know. And the man's supposed to pick up on that. You know, I believe that I believe what that man said in that song is so real because he said, I don't have to worry about you cheating on me. Because that's what he said. When you chose me, you ain't cheating. You ain't like this other woman where I cold approach, where I approach her and I gave her and I came to her. She the one that the one that's cheating, doing all this crazy stuff, but the one that looked me in my eye when I'm standing at the bar, she eyeballing me and she got this look about her. She told me. She she looking at me. She already on me. All I can do now for the man gotta catch on to that though. Men don't see this, but we go running in women inboxes, go approach them at the at the mailbox and and we doing all that crazy, but the woman got to already see you. She ought to already notice you. Those the women that should you should be approaching, like men shouldn't be approaching women that is don't have no interest in you, don't even look at you. Yeah. You all at the mall trying to get her number. You all all that man. That's what the, my yeah. boy Ozzy brother said. Ozzy, so Ozzy saying, said, look. So you saying like who like you? Like who like you? Yeah. If but how, y'all also, like but another thing I don't, I don't believe that. That's what you just said. 
That How girl with that polo G miss, what her name? I don't believe she, I don't believe that. I believe y'all already like us before we like y'all for real. Like, we gonna be, we now we got to make the move because y'all ain't gonna tell us. Y'all ain't that's, gonna what just, she, that's what she just said, though. Yeah. That's what, yeah. that's what she but said. But y'all already like us, though. You got to no, already no, like us. No, it ain't gonna be, no, no yeah, that's not it. I don't no, know. it ain't it's gonna hard. be like, <laughs> it ain't gonna be I'm y'all. Not gonna get we can't like, like you when we don't notice you. Right Hold we, on, we can't like, like Anita, Anita Baker. Like Anita uh-huh. Baker said, I'm giving you the best I got. Uh-huh. You know uh-huh. why she said that? Because she, she when I a woman, I don't through. believe y'all give a man best y'all got if y'all just if the man cold pro just come uh-huh. to y'all like you know what I'm saying just come to y'all in the mall or just approach y'all like that, ask you for your number. But I just don't believe that, man. Number one, huh? it depends on how I'm getting approached. Number two, if you, if, if you, you know, cute, attractive, I think you're attractive, I'm going to give you a shot. I'm not going to be an asshole. But number two, I mean, mm-hmm. say if I'm in the mall and I, if I don't see you, I don't see you. You just got to see me first. I mean, I can't help that. Or So you, you, say, so you ain't going to see that man first? You said. No. Said, no, we don't. Oh, what kind of women do you date? date? <laughs> I'm not going to the mall and go to die. I'm going to the mall to do what I got to do, go shopping. So if a guy just happened to see me, he just happened to see me. Like, I'm not going to go out my way to go you to the mall. Still to see, that's what I'm saying. You still see him, though. Y'all see each other. Y'all looking no, at each other. No, no, no. I thought you were standing in the rain. Try you know, again, Dave. I've been oh, watching you. Watching me. <laughs> try, Come on, let's try, 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 try again, Dave. Nah. I don't again. believe that, man. Y'all, man, I don't believe Look, that. Let me tell you, that's a prime example. Prime example. I went to the mall. This, this is a prime example. I went to the mall about. What's wrong with what kind of women you got on here tonight? But these, these are hardcore women right <laughs> here. Amen. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Prime example. Go ahead. I went to the mall a few months ago. What's up? I went in there because I was literally legit needing to get an outfit for a certain event. So I went in there trying to get my outfit. And I know, I'm I looking at her. I'm sure you are about to right Dude, was, I guess there was a dude next to me, um, and he just asked for my number. I didn't know that he was checking me out. I'm minding my own business going there to go. I mean, obviously, you know, you know your surroundings and stuff, but you don't just be like, yeah, you know, like, free. Yep. Yeah, some in the discreet. Some in, some in special and very discreet. I gotta check out, cuz. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I gotta check out, man. Y'all have a great day. Y'all keep this hot subject going. Thank you. I love this y'all, man. Y'all doing great. Love y'all you women too. continue to keep being great. <laughs> Fellas, y'all keep continue to keep being great. See y'all around. All right, All right have a good one. All right. All right. You be blessed. I gotta go too, y'all. Okay, I gotta go. go. Listen, all right. Nice talking to you, sister. I, can't be my I love y'all so much. Y'all, they like I, they, um, especially you, Casey. I thought you were gonna really, really rock about Boa, but you done got quiet. <laughs> he was listening. <laughs> hey, I went. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm uh, alpha. <laughs> uh, yeah, right, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Get in, get in. <laughs> Y'all be blessed. I love y'all so much. David, continue to try to spear by the, by, by the spear. Same as you, baby. All right? Yeah, Have a good nice talking to you. You too. <laughs> Thank good night. You. All right. Man, so you had some great dialogue going on here tonight, and I got a, a couple of comments in the comment section. Um, Mr. Brooks said, look at someone you can build something with in life. And he also said, you need to find a partner. I'll find a woman who is that, who's that for me that I will soon wed. <laughs> We can find it with a little bit um sarcasm. So they got a few f- comments in the comment section. A lot of good stuff that's being said here tonight. Um, once I believe that a man should know himself. That's just me. A man should know himself first but give that woman. And I do believe once a man see a woman that he's interested in, he will pursue her and he will go to her, introduce himself, and make something happen if he's interested. Because I know as a woman, you're not gonna approach the man. And the man, if he enter, he's gonna approach you. And I know yeah. a lot of times guys deal with fear because I think like guys, I'm say think guys are afraid to approach a woman because of the rejection. Yeah. They already got true. in mind, oh, she's gonna reject me. I don't want to well, she might got a man, she might be married. Um, which I want to say about because some guys do already judge a woman already coming off the bat. Oh, she's gonna turn me down. Yeah. Like, <laughs> bro, I was like that in middle school. I was like that in middle school. In my homeboy, Marcus Reckler, shout out Marcus Reckler, man, if you watching. 
he told me, he, he said, man, no, he said, don't think she can do it, tell you no. He like, she yeah. can't shoot you or nothing like that. And ever since then, because I used to have that complex in middle school, like, man, mm-hmm. she looked too fine to, to want to talk to me. Man, yeah. as he told me that, that gave me just some kind of confidence, man. I don't, I don't care if you look like Halle Berry in her prime. I was going to say something to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't say it, no. And, and surprising, well, not surprisingly, but, but, but to that advice, you know what I'm saying? I did talk to some women who I normally wouldn't approach, and we did end up dating for a little while. Yeah, I was there yeah, too, I and I dealt with that too. Yeah, I dealt like, with that. I dealt with the insecure. I dealt with the fear. The because re- thinking, okay, I like her. She looks good, but she might turn me down. She might reject me. And then we come off um, with that. We're already judging y'all because I know you don't want me on here. But we all come with the judgment already. Okay, she's gonna shoot me down. So we get scared. Yeah, I've gotten that too. And you know, people say. I have a natural B face. Like, I just look like I'm me mugging people. But honestly, that's just my face. So I've gotten guys telling me, you know, I was scared to talk to you. Like, you just look mean or you look like you'll beat me up or something like that. I'm like, no, like, you just ask. Like, all you got to do is just ask. You just never know. But for females, like, I could, I know I was kind of on the same thing too. Back then, I could never just go to a dude and just talk to him because I was afraid of rejection too. But I mean, I guess as you get older, you kind of get that confidence, and you just like, you know, the worst they can say is no. So right, and that's what guys deal with. I like what uh, Casey was saying. It. I think it starts. You, you have to. You gotta have somebody to, like to coach you along when you're young. I think when we were young, as men, we didn't have nobody to really. Most men, not say every man, didn't have that teaching from their father to to give him that reinsurance and and that goes back to understanding yourself you know that's when you, when you love yourself you have that self-love and those things play a major role in your companies and your security and yourself and your manhood that hey i can you gotta have that daddy in your ear like you can get anybody you want you get any woman you want like that's what i'm telling my my son boy you can get any woman you want in this world but you don't have to you don't have to never Make yourself feel like you approaching a woman. My, my son already got that swag. <laughs> he already, you know, he already tell a woman she beautiful. I was like, boy, don't do all that now. <laughs> like I already, I'm already schooling him, and he he confident already. He ain't number eight years old, and he be telling women, hey, hey, you grandpa, you got, I like what you got on. So it's 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 got to be trained for for when you when you younger to have that confidence because companies are attractive like women are attracted to companies and that's got to be school yeah. they got to be taught they got to be something a man got to understand that only way that she's going to be attracted to me is my company this, this is the company, only way yeah. it's the only that's the biggest thing the way i stand the way i walk the way i am that but that's got to be start when we're young when you're kids but you train I, I, also, job. I also I'm feel sorry. like um confidence women do love confidence i will say that because women ain't gonna like a dude that's just not confident but say if uh it just really depends on how you train because there's a difference between confidence and cocky there's so many guys out here who are very cocky as well and that is a complete turnoff so when you say start them young you gotta really know how to know what you're doing to start them young because then they're gonna end up taking the confidence and turn it into cocky and then they ain't gonna ever find one. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so just, enough, it's gotta be a balance with it. You so know, in other words, yeah. see, have confidence, but be humble at the same time, um, right? Yeah. yeah, humble at the same time. Humble. Yeah. I respect humble. that. Yeah, I respect that. Yeah. So, you know, okay, for the confidence part, so that means we have to train our mind. So it starts in the mind. Yeah. You know, the mind play tricks on us because we are already, fit, we already been rejected. We talk down on ourselves. And I would say this. Steve Urkel from Family Matters, he messed it up for a lot of guys. Well, I'm going to say that for He was attracted to Laura. Laura did not like him. He chased Laura for years. He had Myra. Myra was a beautiful girl. She wanted Steve for Steve, but he didn't want her. He wanted Laura. Steve got to the point where he even changed himself to step on Arkell in order to win Laura, but Laura was not attracted to Steve. She was attracted to Cell phone our kill. Mm, I see you know, what you're But that because Steve was not confident in himself because he would he willing to compromise in order to get Laura. Y'all want to say anything about that? Yeah, I want to say something about it because let me tell you, that's what that's what these guys are doing in these women inboxes every day and in their messages. 
you know, but I, I understand what you're saying, Furman. But at the same time, no man should. When you get rejected, it's time to move on, man. Well, he should have never did. It kept on pursuing that girl. Leave her alone. Yes. If she don't like guys, yes. guys, man, if the girl man. is giving you no attraction confirmation, man, you don't need to pursue no more. That's it. I'm not. I'm not gonna text you no more. Once you, if some of y'all guys, and that's the wrong way. I think being on if Facebook is not the place. Message is not the place for some of you guys are getting so thirsty. You getting in these women inboxes. You saying, "Hey, beautiful," and that's the wrong way of approaching a woman. Anyway, yeah. you know how many beautifuls, hey, beautifuls that this woman yeah. hit every day. Same thing every day, just a different. You know what I'm saying? Same I'm gonna tell you, my girl, man, my girl, man, my lady, man. It's I, I look at her inbox, man. I, I'm talking about she got men wrapped around front door and they they say the same thing what's up beautiful hi mm -hmm. or oh, hi you 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 know you got to stand out if you're going to approach a woman do something so then make her just talk about her ugly you say you think you're pretty don't you this is how i got my woman let me tell you how i got my <laughs> I game I'm so good let me tell you how i got her let me tell you how i got her i told her you think you bougie don't you man that girl hey look she like why he said that to me what is he? i just you got to do something so crazy yeah. and so different if you're gonna get if you're gonna get in her message and I did I did this in real life. I ain't I don't believe I'm old school. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna approach you just with I'm gonna approach you right off the rip. And if I want you, I'm coming to you. I ain't, I'm gonna get all in your ear with it. You know what I mean? That's just me. I'm I'm old school with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna be all in your ear with the game. But, but see, girls, women, see, women like that though. Like they that's like what I'm that. saying, but I'm saying, but some men don't know that they they all on messenger. And so that your approach, if you're gonna be a messenger uh a gamer. You got to do something. You can't be with the hey, beautiful. Well, yeah, if you do something a little different, that's going to catch my attention. It's going to be like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's going to catch your attention. Yeah. Yeah, casual. Be, yeah. Yeah, casual. And, and it's creepy being on there. I won't even get on messages. I mean, seriously, y'all guys got to stop it, man. And it's if you don't, no don't come back and say, and then yeah. the next day you keep on going back and keep on just, yeah. why you ain't answering my text? I just seen this before, my girl, and she showed me stuff. I mean, I had pulled up a page, man. I was finna get mad about it. Man, this dude, <laughs> I, I, she told me to answer the thing. This man, this man, had this at me. Like, boy, you don't even know. No. This at me. You boy, know what I, I had? I, I had. I had this dude pull his fist out at me. Like, I pulled up the messenger. Y'all boy are crazy around here, man. But, uh, but I'm saying is, is, you know, confidence like she said, it goes back being humble with comfort. Comfort is just knowing you comforted with yourself. Right, right, you, right. You know that I can not just use it as I'm, I'm high in mind. You can't tell me that you you're not humbling yourself. You're not, you know, don't be around here. You're not humble. You know, uh, always keep a humble attitude about yourself. You're always willing to learn and willing to, you know, I'm never. I, I'm still learning, man. Even with my wife now, nah, man, I'm still learning about her. I'm still understanding. And I'm seeing results. I'm going to tell y'all guys, when you become a man, it, it'll change your dynamic of your relationship with your wife. When you learn how to put your foot down and be assertive, it's the difference. You got to learn to be assertive, not being a butthole and an asshole about things. You can be assertive and you can put your foot down without being an asshole. You know what I'm saying? So, some of y'all men got to learn how to be assertive. You can say no, but then, man, that woman, man, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to shut up, though, but I'm going to tell you. My, my nah, wife. that's true. Like, that's that, that man, also goes back, that goes back to the conversation that we had when a man can show you that he can be a man. That also falls yeah. into that category. And that's whenever a woman is going to want to be submissive to you, be, do whatever, literally do everything. So... And that's what I don't like though, let Go me ahead. tell y'all guys this. Do not do this. It's, it falls back into the DMs, man. For real. If I do not answer, like I know sometimes I really do be busy though. But if you like constantly like send me emojis, hey beautiful, what's up, sexy? Let's go hang out. Da, 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 da. And it's like about 10 of your messages and you see none of mine. That should have given you by the second message, it should have given you a fuck a freaking uh you know sign that I wasn't interested. Mm. But guys tend to go back and like keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm like, yo, it gets to the point where I'm just gonna block you at this point because it's annoying. Like, you know, like it just seemed like you like you just discussing at that point. I'm definitely not interested. You know what I'm saying? 
That's so good. Our guys, Mississippi like, girl, she's trying to put y'all on game, man. Yeah. If she ain't interested, it's just that interest, right man. Like, just it's so many females out here. One girl is it's not worth it. Just go to the next one. Maybe the mm. next one works out. I don't know. But what I say is any, any female coming from a female, we do not like guys who if we already told you that we're not interested, don't mm. keep trying. Wow. Do not Is keep it? trying. She put it's free done. game. See, fellas, she put free game out there. You need to listen <laughs> to what she's saying. <laughs> if she don't want you, she just don't want you. Move on. Find somebody else. You like she said about the text. If you keep texting and sending and saying stuff. So, he giving y'all a game here tonight. A woman giving y'all a game here tonight. <laughs> Phil, y'all need to take heed to what she's saying. Yeah, I'm I'm telling what you. Women want what they don't want. They want you to be confident, but don't be all creepy and thirsty. Uh, Kate, yeah. you have anything you want to say? Oh um, no. Um. Well. Well. Basically, I guess just to just to add one more thing to it is is when y'all was talking about being humble and everything. Just just still be confident when 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 that pressure is at. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people let, let that success of being confident. Turn into arrogance. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. You have a whole bunch of women want to approach you. Now you think you can just talk to anybody and, yeah. and anybody how, how you want to, and you you start to feel like, well, I can treat her like this because I can just get another one. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because because I'm I'm this kind of way. So you know, so just when that pressure come on you, you know, because especially if if you're a good looking person, a talented person, people gonna people gonna come after you. You know what I'm saying? They make come to you for the wrong reason, but they are gonna come after you. But you, you still gotta learn how to be in that pressure situation. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Just to, to still handle it with, with, with grace and dignity. Yeah, and also to the fellas out there listening tonight, if you don't know how to cook, learn how to cook. Learn how to cook. <laughs> I'm just saying to the guys, the guy, learn how to cook. Use some cookbooks. For the right woman, not for anybody, for the right woman, yeah, cook a nice right. meal. Um, be romancer. This is what I'm saying, romancer. Um, just do nice stuff, but fellas, know yourself first. Romancer, make a feel like a woman when she in your presence. When yeah. You talk to, when you talk to, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Get you a get you a copy of Pleasure Principles and read it to her. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, firm. I cook for the woman, man. Look, man, she it tears flew down her eyes. Let me tell you something oh. about a man cook for a woman. <laughs> yeah, that's true though. Man, I got out of the cookbook. I don't know how to I mean I just got out of the cookbook. I cooked some some uh some stuff, man. And I I I liked it. It was it was very expensive, rare, uh, very expensive. It was a very expensive dish. I got it out of the dang cookbook, man. That woman, that woman cried. She cried. Look, man, tears flew down her eyes, man. I ain't never seen it like that. Like, man, mm-hmm. dang. See, yeah, that what you said about cooking, man. I do something to a woman, man. Yeah, do that. It will. It's like, for example, I don't mean to cut you off, but when a guy say you know we have these female roles and we also have the male roles but a woman is looked upon as okay she needs to cook clean da, 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 that works but every now like it should like yes yeah, it's, it's like that but every now and then the woman is tired just like the man is tired so if a guy were to play like a female role in one day like say cook for her or even do her laundry or something like that that makes us feel like damn like hell yeah like this dude <laughs> hell yes like that i'm telling y'all that's man it's crazy like it, it it's like this just a little small things that just really count people think that uh the big like oh i gotta take her over here i gotta go get her nails done i gotta go do this i gotta buy her this no like i mean some people i guess some females want that but a real woman it's just a small you can even just have like a little set up a little movie night or something make it look cute make a little mm. dish do something i'm telling you that woman is going to give you everything literally you got to ask nothing so she put our game phil y'all ain't think he did what she said she put in our game For and real? also to the fellas you, you got your wife you got your lady give her a bail when i say give yeah. her a bail she getting the tell base it's not about it's, it's think about it. don't it ain't all about you penetrating her and i'm gonna clear that up it's not about you penetrating her bathe her give her a bath make her feel good make her feel comfortable make her feel relaxed because that's your that's your queen that's your wife that's the mother of your children make her feel special so it's not to manipulate it's not about sex learn massages too for the felt learn how to do body massage get a masseuse. learn how to do massage make your girl feel good it's not about you penetrating all the time 
Mm-hmm. Make her and that's what I meant by it. it has yeah. to be that connection there. That's right. also what I mean by connection. And, 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 and massage is what. Hey, look, and massage is exactly what it is, my fellas. It is yeah. not. Don't go and try to get down and lick down and now just massage it, bro. Exactly. Just. Just sometimes we want to do other things, but, but no, you got right. to have discipline. Sometimes, like I'm gonna rub, to. you know, it's gonna be butt naked. Right? But you got, <laughs> you can't let that butt naked mess you up, bro. You yeah. got to, you got oh, to rub it and, and get off and leave her alone. Like it, this yeah. ain't no sense here. Yeah. I'm just gonna rub you down with all and just let. You got to have that discipline with a woman. Sometimes you don't have to juggle her every time you she take her clothes off, man. As you see her, and it's gonna, it is gonna tempt you, but. She asked you to rub her. She asked you to massage. That's it. Yeah. And, and but that that one that that one, that one ain't my lane. That one I I give you myself for about ten minutes, but then after that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get up off there. Anyway. I'm, I'm gonna say this but, about come my phone. Come my phone about to die. Um, and this is one thing that that I that I've been guilty of in relationships in, in past years is don't get complacent still when things are going good. Like oh she's doing her thing, I'm doing my thing. Or we comfortable financially? You know what I'm saying? Still date. You know what I'm saying? Even if y'all got don't don't make don't make sense. Oh we got kids they date. You can throw a date in the living room mm-hmm. on the back porch on the front, on the oh, front yeah. porch of the backyard. Oh, yeah. Continue to date, date, Those date, 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 date. No matter yeah. no matter how, how small it is. Uh, no matter how you know, saying how if it's in the house, if it's out the house, whatever like that, continue to date that woman. Y'all continue to date each other and continue to show each other a mutual interest. Just like you know, say a woman want to feel love, a man want to feel appreciated, man. So right. it's been a blessing, yeah, David. Exactly. Uh, my sister. Well, well, how you say your name? P. Just a letter P. 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 <laughs> it's been, it's been a blessing. Firm, man, as always, man, it's been a blessing, man. I love y'all, man. Y'all take care. I appreciate you, Kay. Appreciate yeah, it. I'm I have to, I have to hop off here too. I know this woman; she's streaming right now. But me, I, I will be going to grocery store, so I'm gonna have I know, to. My phone's about to die. Okay, man. I appreciate y'all, man. We it, we did man. some great dialogue. Go ahead. <laughs> you got to do a part two one of these days, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah I, I think we should do a part two. I like this conversation. This yeah, great. we'll do a part two more definitely. Like I said, we want everybody yeah. to have a great Saturday. Before y'all go, I want you to take your favorite drink, whether you drink wine, water, coke, coffee, whatever. Take that drink. Go in your bathroom, wherever you go, your mirror. Toast yourself. Tell yourself, I love you. Tell yourself, I got your back. Tell yourself you're more value. Tell yourself that you are more than a conqueror. You tell yourself those things and you toast yourself because you believe in yourself. So the night, take that favorite drink of yours. Toast yourself and say, you know what? I love you. I got your back, and we're gonna make it. Y'all have a great night. Peace, everybody. All right, big brother. Bye. Have a good one. God bless y'all. You too.